How to get paint on Mac. Hi, if you've recently switched from Windows to Mac, you might be wondering, does Mac have paint? Yeah, that's what I asked my friend, and he laughed at me. But I mean, hey, paint is an amazing tool I've been using since my sixth grade, so it's fair to ask for Microsoft Paint for Mac. Unfortunately, there's no such thing. But there are cool alternatives. Let me show you how you can replace Paint for MacBook with great drawing software that works on Mac. Number one MS Paint for Mac on my list is called Teyasui Sketches. It combines natural drawing experience you're so used to with a near unlimited selection of beautiful digital brushes and colors. Starting with Teyasui Sketches, it's just as easy as picking up a pen in real life. Let me show you. In the app, simply choose the paper type. Select one of the tools in the sidebar. I will choose pencil, red color, and begin to draw. Quickly you'll realize that Teyasui is better than MS Paint for Mac. First of all, it looks better. Just look at this beautiful canvas. And the number of brushes, patterns, layers, colors, it's huge. At the same time, the app doesn't require you to go through lengthy workshops and spend hours in settings to learn how to paint on Mac. Just get a blank page and let your imagination fly. Another Mac paint app is Capto. I would recommend it for when you need to draw on top of a photo, screenshot, or even a screen recording. Yes, Capto is in fact a screen recording app, but it has great paint for Mac OS toolkit, and you can use it with any images, of course. I'll show. Go to the apps organizer, where all images and videos are kept. Add an image from my desktop, or you could also take a screenshot. Then double click it to enter the editing mode. Now we have a different editing tool on the left sidebar. You might be familiar with some of them from MS Paint, and Capto also had more advanced ones, such as Spotlight, Numbering, Blur, and Callout. I really like this numbering thing. It helps me with heat maps, numbering the top locations on the screen. You can simply select it from the menu, choose the type, style, and color, and leave the sequence of numbers on the image by clicking on the appropriate locations. One, two, Three, done. Both Teyasui Sketches and Capto are part of SetApp subscription. You see, they are the first two apps I've installed from SetApp actually. This is great because you can use them from your different use cases without paying for every app separately. For example, I use Teyasui as more of a creative paint in Mac for freehand drawing, brainstorming, mind mapping, and so on. Capto is better for collaboration when you need to share an annotated screen with someone, for example. If you don't have SetApp, you can try and replace Mac OS Paint with Preview, Mac's native image viewing app and editor. Let's say you want to draw a circle around an object on one of your images to bring attention to it. Click the sketch tool, it's third from the left, and just start drawing. By default, Preview will auto-complete the shape you've drawn, getting it to a perfect oval, square, or triangle. You can, however, choose to keep the line freehand. Just choose freehand over here. You can also change colors, add text, lines, etc. It's not really full featured paint in MacBook, but it can work for some of your use cases. So that's how you get Microsoft Paint on Mac. The closest alternative is of course Tayasui Sketches. And I'd even dare to say I like it better than MS Paint in Mac. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching.